Hi everyone. Today this is my April Nailtopia polishes that I was sent from Nailtopia. This month they sent us five. This is super exciting. They're all greens um, with the preparation of Earth Month this month. Earth Day this month. So we have um, two Disney limited edition polishes which is super cool and we have three from their regular line. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the swatches of these and then I'm going to do some really fun nail art. So let's get started. This one is Tinkerbell and the Disney polishes are numbered. This one is kind of sheer on the first coat. That's a pretty sea foam green color. Here's the first coat. Here is the second coat. This one is still kind of sheer and patchy. I think we're going to need three coats. Here is the third coat. Okay, that's three coats. These dry down to kind of like a satiny finish. I'm going to put some top coat on now. And here it is with top coat. Now we're going to take a look at Peter Pan. And this is kind of a, I don't know, kind of like an army green color. Pea green. And it seems to be a little sheer. I don't think as bad as the other one was. I mean, not that it was bad. It was just, it was... These are more curly-ish, which is kind of like between a cream and a jelly. So they, um, so they are a little sheer on the first coat. Here is one coat. Here's the second coat. This one looks like it'll cover up in two coats. That's great. This looks great in two coats. This one is pretty shiny without top coat. However, you should wear top coat for longevity. And here it is with top coat. This one is called Juice Cleanse. Here is the first coat of Juice Cleanse. This isn't too bad. And this uh, first coat, so we only might need two coats of this, I'm hoping. This is one coat. I think this kind of looks like a celery green.
And I think we're good in two coats. It's nice and shiny without top coat. And here's what it looks like with top coat. This one is Green Goddess. Oh, this is really nicely opaque on the first coat. Here is one coat of Green Goddess. Here's the second coat. Oh, there is, this is good in two coats. So here's what it looks like without top coat. And here it is with top coat. This one is called Nails on Fleek. Yeah, this one looks kind of like a shimmery bluish color. I don't really think it looks green, but we'll see what it turns out to be. It's very sheer on the first coat. And so it's very sheer on the first coat or if I just don't have enough polish on my brush. Nope, it is very sheer on the first coat. Okay, so here's the first coat. Oh, let's see what two coats looks like. Okay. Well, it's definitely going to at least need at least three coats. Okay, so here's two coats. And here is the third coat. Okay, <laughs> three coats is good. Yeah, so this is three coats. Here's three coats with out top coat. And here's three coats with top coat. This month they gave us five different color greens with the um with the thinking that they wanted us to do a Earth Day Skittle Manny. So I'm gonna start off doing an Earth Day Skittle Manny. And then I'll do two other fun nail art designs using all of these polishes. Since Nails on Fleek is more blue, and the other ones are pretty green, I'm going to put this one on my thumb. This will need about three coats to cover. Here's the third coat. Okay. Right, that nail's done. I'm going to put Peter Pan on my pinky finger and I know I mentioned it before but if you've got a really narrow finger these wider brushes just tilt them on their side a little bit at an angle and then you'll be able to um, paint your nail without a big mess. So it'll just look like we need two coats for this one. The next one is Green Goddess. So obviously that's the next darkest one. 
Green Goddess will only need two coats. The next one I'm going to put on is Tinkerbell. Okay, let's put another coat of Tinkerbell on. I think Tinkerbell needs three coats. And the last one we're doing is Juice Cleanse. I think this one only takes two coats. Here is the finished manicure with top coat. I think it came out super cute. I really like this one. I'm now going to use all these colors and do some sponging. Here's the um, sponging that I'll be doing. Kind of looks a little bit like green camouflage or something like that. First, I started out with three coats of Nails on Fleek because I seriously don't think that that's going to sponge well. Next thing to do is get your sponge. Now my sponge has been used, so I'm just going to cut the used part off. There we go. Let me just cut this down a little bit. So I have an even surface. And what I like to do is I like to cut the sponge so that it's not very much wider than my nail. I never understood why they used like a whole big huge piece of sponge and kind of a waste of nail polish. You don't really need that. So we have the sponge ready. The next thing we'll need is a liquid latex. I've been using body latex for a really long time. Um, it comes in quite a decent jar and then I just buy an empty nail polish bottle or just save one of your empties and put it in there and that way you can just brush it on and it lasts literally forever. I can't even remember how many years ago I bought my bottle of of body latex and this one in this little bottle here or in this little polish bottle is still good to use so anyways uh, what I bought was clear so it goes on white and then it'll turn to a clear color when it is completely dry and then I can do my stamping you want to do this because you really don't want to be messing around with getting polish off of the outer edge of your nail. Not a fun, not a fun thing to do. So it is clear, so we're ready to go. So I've got my sponge here. The first thing you want to do is you want to start with the darker colors. I'm just going to add some of the darker colors. To the sponge. Now you don't want to oversaturate it and you don't want to undersaturate it. So you don't want puddles of polish on your sponge. I also don't want to undersaturate it either because you want to make sure that um, you know, it's actually the, the sponge didn't soak up the polish and it's actually going to, you know, disperse it onto your nail. And the lightest color you want to go on last. Just 
and I'm not covering the whole area because I want the, the blueish, the turquoise underneath to show through. I'm just not putting that on my sponge. So now you just lightly dab on the first coat. Okay, now we're going to have to let it sit here um, about a minute or two before we can dab on a second layer. Because you want this layer to be completely dry before you go to your second layer. Otherwise, what you're doing is you're just pulling up the color. It's not going to look, it's not going to look good. You only have to wait a couple minutes until it's um, dry enough that you can put the next coat on. I mean, two minutes at the most. What we're doing is we're applying thin layers of um, polish. So then what you do is you just um, put the polish in the same order <laughs> that you did before. In the same spot as well. See these ones right here, that's too thick. Let me just dab some off of that. If we were if I were to put that in there, it would make like a complete mess. Because it's not absorbing in there. That was way too much. That should be better. And this one. I'll just dab it on here. And you're going to have to, it, you know, it depends on what you're trying to cover up in that as to how many layers you're going to have to put on there. I did three to four, um, but I think my first layer really didn't make you know, the first couple layers didn't really do much. So this one is actually looking good in two. So I might only have to do three. So I'm going to let it sit here for another couple of minutes. We'll see if this is the last one we need. I think that looks great. So I'm just going to close the nail polish. Now we can remove the liquid latex. I usually put about two really thick coats on so that it's easy to remove. And any bits that still need cleaning up, I'm going to use my cleanup brush. Dip it in acetone and then just go around your cuticle area. It's extremely hard to do at the other angle, <laughs> um, you know, for on camera stuff. So I'll just turn it around a little bit here. This is how it's easiest for me to clean it up. Oh, 
what I usually use to clean up my nail you know, art brushes or you know use for my um, cleanup brushes is I use this teeny little jar of Q-Tex and when it when it gets dried out I just add acetone to it or you can just empty it out you know and clean it and then put some acetone in there it comes with a little sponge these a are super hard to find I think I bought like a set of them on the Walmart website that was really cheap from another seller but it had free shipping so um but these are these little travel sizes are like super hard to find but I don't like dipping the the brush into a bottle of acetone or spilling it into a cap I think it's a bunch of waste so here I just make sure that it's filled up just so you can barely see it on the sponge this one I've been using for a lot of years um, Ulta used to carry these little miniature travel things but they don't carry them anymore anyway so basically you can just get your brush wet you can dip it on the um, on the sponge a little bit and then you can clean up your nails and then when you're done you do want to wash your brush with so I use soap and water I just use hand soap and uh, and then dry it off because you don't want the acetone to be sitting on your bristles that will ruin it also you can dip it in here and then dip it on I always have little spots of paper towel here so you can dip it in here and then dip it off on here and then clean up your nail so that's a tip on nail cleaning last thing I'm gonna do is put on a top coat and you want to wait again a couple of minutes until this is kind of dry or you're gonna be kind of dragging your design a little bit and if you are messy and you get your top coat around the edges you can use your cleanup brush here are the sponge nails I think they came out super cute for the last nail design I'm going to use all of the April polishes plus for my base color I'm going to use Minnie Mouse which was the March color I believe it was March So um, the base color of all my nails are going to be this white, and I really like this white. I know it's a little bit sheerer than the other white that they have, so fresh, so clean. So if you want a more opaque white, you can use that, but I really like this. And I think, I think we'll need at least two coats, maybe three. I can't remember. This is the first coat. This is two coats and my ring finger has this like really deep ridge. I always forget to put ridge filling base coat on but I'm just going to do three coats and that should cover that up and here is the third coat that looks pretty good now I'm going to show you how to make these cute little floral nails using all of the April colors First, I need a little mat to put some nail polish on, and then a couple different sized dotting tools. Just take the dotting tool and dot it on my nail, and then I just keep going around and you make five dots. 
to three, four, five. And if they don't look enough like petals, just dot it again. You can make different size flowers using different size dotting tools. Since Nails on Fleek is blue, I'm just going to dot a few little, little polka dots on my flowers. I'm going to wait for these to dry a little bit and then I'm going to put the centers on. And just put contrasting colors in the center. And then just wait a few more minutes before you put the top coat on. Now, if you want to make sure you definitely don't smudge your nail art, you can use a water-based top coat like Maniology Smudge Free Top Coat or anything like that. I'm just going to put a normal top coat on. It didn't smear any of the other nails, so I am uh, keeping my fingers crossed it's not going to smear this, but there's always a chance. This looks good. Here are my finished nails. I love how they came out. I hope you enjoyed the swatches and the nail art and the polishes this month. Thank you so, so much for watching and bye for now.